Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Planet Mercury. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play some old school games on your new school PC. Always something that I'd love to do is to go back and play the old games that made me the gamer that I am today. Now unfortunately I don't have any of those systems left so the only way to do it is to either go out and mod an Xbox or mod a PS3 or something like that. Uh, to do that but it's much much simpler to do it on PC ever since I switched over it's just great so I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you guys that so the first place we're gonna go is to romhustler.net I'll leave a link to that in the description below first thing we're gonna need is our emulator think of it as like your gaming system uh, the raw the emulator is the system and the ROMs are the games so um, I'm not going to download the actual emulator on here because I already have it and it's working fine but basically what's going to happen is you're going to download this folder and you're using Google Chrome so it comes up in the bottom corner. You're going to wait for a little green circle to fill up when you click it. It's going to ask you to extract that and once you extract that to using WinRAR or WinZip or whatever you guys use, I like to use free opener but uh, you extract that to whatever location you want or whatever location it designates and uh, it should look something like this to know it's working properly or bring the shortcut I make a shortcut to the desktop it makes it easier but when you open your ROM this should be it just a black screen that's fine it's like a system without a game in it and once you get that far and now you now you want a game so we're going to go back to romhustler.net we are going to go ROMs and Super Nintendo obviously because that's the emulator we have and for the sake of the video I'm gonna download Super Mario Kart probably a really big download or popular download I'm sure oh, pardon me so right here we're going to click here to download this ROM comes up in the bottom left I'm just gonna wait a second for that to download two seconds one second done and now we're going to have to extract this as well and if it lets me here not sure what's going on ah, here we go now I always let this uh, download to the desktop so it's easy to find uh, because it's not going to stay there anyways and uh, mind you, you guys can put it wherever you want you can browse and but the whole point is we're going to have to extract it to the file location we want anyways. So let's go ahead and hit next. Now they always try to get you to download this weather bug here, but I always like to decline that. I have enough weather apps, I don't need another one. So we're going to wait for that to download. It should only take a second. And done, just like that. So we're going to go finish. And this is our desktop here, but we're just going to do it from this desktop just to show you guys. And we're going to open this up, and now we can distract or extract this, sorry, to our selected folder. So I have it set up, and I'm dragging this from another monitor just in case you guys haven't figured that out, but I'm sure you have. Uh, I have a shortcut here, and I like to keep everything organized on my computer, so I have this, 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 and this. And... Uh, so you guys can wherever you guys set it up you'll also have it set up just create a shortcut to your desktop and it'll be there so before I extract everything from free opener uh, I like to make a new folder like so we're gonna call it super whoop no super Mario cart done like dinner then when we go here and we go to extract we're going to select the folder we are going to go user one downloads SNES ROMs and Super Mario Kart and okay then we're gonna push the extract button and watch it fill boom there we are now the beauty of doing it like that and having the ROM folder right in the same folder as your SNES emulator is that, now I hope this don't make a liar out of me here, but we're just going to pick one. should just open up and bang, you're ready to play. I don't know where our sound is. Some of the emulators do have issues, so maybe, maybe there's an issue with the sound on this one. Let's see if we 
Yeah, so apparently they have no sound. That's no good. Oh, I may have muted that. That may be my fault, guys. I was trying to talk earlier. Yeah, mute sound. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, that's But there you go, guys. Super Mario Kart ready to play. And like like I said, all all these games for me bring me right back to uh, to when I was young, like and these these were epic games for me like wow look at the graphics listen to the sound they've done so much with everything it's amazing how far they've come since Nintendo looking back at it now it's pretty sad but uh, but still love to go back and play like all my favorites rock and roll racing uh, the death and return of Superman uh, such an aggravating game I actually played it the other day and didn't even realize how aggravating it was so anyways guys I hope this uh, helped you out and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you'd like to see me play a certain NES game or NES game that you guys want or that was really challenging and brought memories back for you guys. And I'll do a, a video of me trying to play it, whether it's aggravating or whether it's not. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to message me and hopefully we'll be able to solve the problems. I'm not a professional or anything, but I've, I've played around with it enough now that I kind of know what I'm doing. And uh, so that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, again, like I said, I really appreciate the, subs the subscriptions. We're almost up to 50 subscribers, which I'll be really happy once I hit that milestone. Uh, hit the like button if it helped you out. And uh, show all your friends. And maybe you guys can. Don't forget that you can, if you use controllers, you can do two-player. Like, you can play Super Mario Kart two players on that, which is pretty epic. So anyways, guys, once again, I'm Mercury. Catch you on the flip side. Yeah, just catch you on the flip side. Sorry, I messed that one up. I'll get better, I promise.